All right, well, it's my 42nd birthday today, and I decided I'm just gonna hitchhike down to my next location. I'm probably trying to make it to a place called uh, Sungai uh, Patani, and I hear there's a temple that I can maybe stay there, so I'm gonna see what I can do. I've just got my thumb out, pretty much waiting here. There's a stoplight with a speed bump, so I'm hoping to have a little bit of luck, see how it goes. All right, well, I got a first ride. It maybe took me about 45 minutes to catch that first ride, but it was a really nice guy that stopped. Uh, he was like a family guy. He was going home, so he didn't take me too far, but I'm at this new stop here. Um, there's a stoplight right back there a little bit. It's not as good of a spot because I don't have any shade, but I'm just gonna uh, stick my hand out, see if I can get anybody to pick me up for the next uh, stop on the journey. So we'll see here. Hi. All right, well, I got picked up by these really nice ladies, uh, Alvina and Ali, and they are so nice. We're having Chinese food for lunch right now. We're an Alo star, so I'm about halfway to where I'm going. So thank you both so much. Okay, All right. hmm. Well, as luck would have it, the ladies that picked me up this afternoon ended up taking me all the way to the place I needed to go. They totally went out of their way like they were these traveling pharmaceutical sales people and they were supposed to be working that afternoon but instead they took me to lunch and then drove me like I don't know like an hour out of their way to this temple that I wanted to stay at and I ended up uh, showing up here and the guy just asked me how long I wanted to stay. <laughs> and I just told him maybe one night, so he gave me this place to stay. I'm just crashing on this little, uh, I don't know, this little mat there. I guess there's some guy from India that's staying here for the night too. We'll see what he's all about. But I'm just like here meditating and so, so grateful for all the, the kindness and the, the, the amazing people that I've been meeting on this journey. It's just really incredible the way that this world works and how nice and generous people can be. And so tomorrow morning my plan is to wake up early and uh, try to hitchhike to Penang, which is another little island um, not too far from where I'm at, so it shouldn't be too difficult. But um, it's just been a beautiful day so far and um, let's see what happens from here. Well, last night was a little bit interesting. I was chilling in the temple and reading this book called The Way to Buddha, which was talking about all these really interesting principles about living respectfully and being unaffected by the negative things in this world and all these really beautiful principles for just living a respectful life. And then the guy that was supposed to be sleeping in that room with me came back and I didn't really understand him. I think he was from India or something, but he was kind of like frazzled that I was in the room and he was asking me how I got there and why I was staying there and the stuff. And I just told him I was traveling and that the guy from the office let me in the room. And this guy gets like all upset and starts storming around and packs up all his stuff and he's kind of huffing around. And he packed up his car and he like took off, peeled off at the end of the night, in the middle of the night and uh, just left. I don't understand why. So I just slept peacefully there in that room. Uh, this this uh, temple was, was nice enough to give me a free place to stay last night. So I'm um, up this morning continuing my journey and uh, I'm gonna see what happens from here. Well, I found this place called the Sri Dai Baba Society and had free food this morning. Basically went in there and paid my respects to their um, their shrine and participated in some just respectful rituals and they gave me this food that was so beautiful. Um, there was some tea there that wasn't, uh, it had some milk in it which I don't drink and they made me like my own special tea without any milk in it and then they gave me this orange with a flower <laughs> as a little souvenir, so the kindness just doesn't stop. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can hitch a ride to Penang now. All right, well, I found the main road that I need to, uh, to take to get to Penang. I'm still kind of in the city, though, where everybody's going to work and 
kind of busy with their city life, so um, I'm just kind of walking maybe another 15, 20 minutes until I can find, uh, there's an intersection I found on the map that's like a main intersection, sort of the last one leaving town. And I'm gonna try my luck out there because I think there will be more people going to where I'm going, less people riding around in the city, and uh, we're gonna see how it goes from there. But I always have my thumb in the air as I walk, just in case anybody wants to stop. I don't count on it, but it doesn't hurt. Good shoulder exercise. All right, well, I got to this next spot that I think I'm gonna stay here for a little while. You can see there's a nice spot for people to pull over and stop if they want. I got some shade up above me. It's kind of cloudy, so um, still should be okay. But uh, there's a stop light back there where people are coming from three different directions. And this is one of the last stops here on the way to Penang. So if I don't feel any luck, I'm gonna keep on moving and there's one more spot that I might be able to get a little better chance. But my mentality is just that nobody's gonna stop for me. That uh, I'll be fasting all day, probably have to hang my hammock up and sleep somewhere tonight. And that's just what I'm prepared for. So if I have to do it, I have to do it. If not, and if anybody um, wants to stop and have a fun conversation and uh, get me on my way to Penang, I'll be that much more grateful. All right, I got a ride from this guy named Farhan. He's so cool. He says he saw me with my thumb in the air. He drove past and then he turned around and came and picked me up. So. He's taking me all the way to Penang. It's kind of a cloudy day out here, but uh, it's a new place to explore, and I'm just so thankful for all the, the generosity and the nice people here in Malaysia. So, uh, thank you, brother. <laughs> hey. All right. All right, I made it to Penang. This is my cow serving host, David. We're having some amazing Indian food. And uh, yeah, he's showing me around. He's a real estate agent. He's a durian lover. He speaks Spanish. He's a world traveler. So we're getting along real good. All right. Take care, y'all. One way or another, we'll learn to love each other today.